Hello, it's Sarah. And I've been busy in the craft room again. I've been playing with the clay. Maya and I have been playing with the clay. And we made some ATCs. Um, I'm going to show you. Maya actually made this ATC. It's a clay ATC. And she kind of copied this one. Or, you know, she got some ideas from it. I am... I actually did do the swirly, this swirly, this swirly, and this swirly, but she did the heart. She did everything else. And I think it's amazing. She did such a great job. Um, and then I was working on this one at the same time based on this little bottle of hope. I kind of like the colors and the way it turned out, so I wanted to play with that uh, design on an ATC. So that's what I did. Um, I stamped it first with this, um, I guess this is a, it's made for clay, tooled leather. And it's like a, a rubber stamp, but it's made for clay. And so that's what the background is. And then I just, you know, put a few little doodahs and some bling. And then I used gold perfect pearls. I actually had to rub some off because it came out really gold and I wanted it to be more black. But I like it. I think it turned out cool. Um, but then I was so impressed with hers, how she did hers with all the, oh, we used the um, black glitter clay again. How she put all the colors on hers that of course I had to do them with colors. So here's mine with colors. And she used the cobblestone background, which I really like. And then I used like a dots background so I don't know if that's too much with all the dots but man I made it a lot of colors it kind of reminds me of like a satellite system or a, um, a solar system you know but it's all different colors and blings and put a couple gems in there this one was frosted this gem this green gem and it like got a bubble in it so I don't know if it, it was probably not glass that's my guess or something in it melted or something happened to it but the rest of them oh there's a love charm down here the rest of these I make sure tulip brand blings are glass I know those are they're not Swarovski's but um <clears throat> they're not plastic like rhinestones. You can't use plastic. Um, these did okay. Those are the um, milliflor. They're like milliflor beads, but and I think they are glass. Um, so I'm glad the dragonfly held out. <clears throat> Excuse me, because <clears throat> sometimes you get charms and you're not, you don't know what they're made of. So this goes up to about. 275 degrees I think for um, 30 minutes so mm, I guess that's hot enough to melt certain things so that was our ATCs now these are this one turned out a little bit smaller you can kind of see there's I cut it a little bit off at the bottom at the end when I was straightening it out but these two are like official size this one's a little small this one wasn't intended to be an ATC it was just a tile originally but it's close enough and then that's my um, this one's my fave so in accordance with this ATC I did my sixth uh, bottle of hope today and I think there may be a seven eight nine in my future because of course I'm, I'm my biggest critic I love it I love how it turned out and I you know how I never leave it alone I keep going so I added all these texture dots which I did not need to do I loved how I um, put the clay on the bottle I totally because um, if you look at this one I had well I texturized it first but I covered um, the neck of the bottle with this twist because I was disguising the bumpiness and stuff this one I just did it in sections and blended it in and I just love how it turned out but of course I don't love my hope my hope turned out crooked and I was hoping that it would show up as as dark as this one did so I'm gonna I have to do another one I might use a very dark blue next time we'll see 
we'll see but I of course I had to do my charm and I love that so I just put a hope charm I love the neck this little bit of color up here and then just um, <clears throat> like a daisy type um, not a daisy but like a I guess it could be like a more of a black eyed Susan it just has a bigger petal um, and then so two colors of pink and a yellow and I think that's so pretty and then this green clay is super pretty I put only I'm running out of the um these little gems I'm gonna have to get some more but these are the glass ones and I only had a few colors I mean you can kind of see I'm down to very few left this was full but they're glass and then I have um, these big ones that are glass I'm pretty sure I'm starting to run low on them but um, <clears throat> I only put a, a gem in the ones by hope and one on the back and then the rest of them I just put a gold center in the bot in the middle then I wink a Stella the bottle after it was baked um, because I could have probably and I should have in the next one I probably will do some um, mica powders on that on the clay while it's raw before I put it in the oven um, just to give it a little shimmer because it it, it wasn't a shimmery clay um, but the Wink of Stella kind of gives it a little shimmer so I'm pretty happy with that and then I did do inside the letters I went in with um, my green gel pen and I mean like I said I don't love that like that bothers me I want it to be perfect but nothing's perfect I think it's beautiful though I do I think it turned out super pretty super colorful and it, it's well done I got my initials on the bottom yay and I just put a blue um, bead through the cork with an eye pin and a couple charms so I have one more pack and I, I'll probably um, make a few more I think I have a few more in me they're really fun to make they work up pretty quick like I got this one done in like maybe two hours total it took me so I'm really starting I'm back into it a little more and it's uh it's it's fun it's really fun so I have six now all together so I just used the biggest ones from the Tim Holtz um, packs oops so I have two mediums and two smalls this was the first set I did and this was the second set so I'm pretty happy with them and of course here's our ATCs so oopsie all right you guys I just had to share them um I'm enjoying it and I hope you all are are doing great all right thanks for watching